Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today we are going to explore like if you would like to install code deploy agent on a particular EC2 instance or if you would like to install code deploy agent on a Linux system, then how we can install that code deploy agent on the particular EC2 instance. That part I am going to explore today. Okay guys, I will show you that how we can do that. And what would be the usability of this one? Like if you like uh, in my previous session, I have already explained like code commit that part, and then there is the next part is the code deploy, and that basically AWS CI CD right that pipeline. If you would like to explore right, there one part is the code deploy agent. So for that code deploy agent, if you want to install that code deploy agent on a particular EC2 instance right, then manually we have to install that. By default on a EC2 instance, it won't come actually. Let me show you like what today our agent is like we will launch one EC2 instance then we will check that by default there uh, that the code deploy agent is there or not if it is not there then how we can install then how we can start it and then we will show you like how uh, we can check the status like what it is running or not Th those kind of thing we will show you today demo okay guys so let's move on to the AWS console this is my AWS console and I have logged in in Virginia region okay guys so let's go to the EC2 console here so I have already run one running EC2 instance uh, we can utilize this one as well or if you want you can launch EC2 instance like uh, I have already demonstrated in my previous video like how we can launch EC2 instance let me show you that deploy demo so let us select that default by default everything let's keep everything default keep here let's see it and the security group this all these thing guys i have already explained in my previous section like security group how it does work and what kind of inbound outbound rule we have to set up right that i have already explained so if you not yet watched my previous video then please check it out i will give that those link to this video description okay guys so go deploy so it is in progress so or else we can utilize this uh, this is also a brand new visit instance okay so this one also we can try so let's move on to the mobile extreme i have already co uh, connected that particular instance let me show you that uh, what could be this ip address so ip address is the demo like 102 then 52 private, so 52 private, 172, 31, 81, right? Same issue instance. Okay, guys, so let us check that here code deploy status. What could be the status? So, all this command I will give to this video a description so that it will be helpful to you guys. Okay, don't worry about this command on. I for make it the video first. I just note down all this command here. I will give uh, this. Okay, guys. So this is the code deploy agent is not there available or else we can check the process is there any process is running or not. Okay so what we can do we can go to install that so for that what we are going to do we have first we need to update that if is there any package is required to update okay. So let us update everything is up to date okay so let's move on to this and install that ruby first so that is the dependent uh, packages okay guys so it is installing let's uh, go to the next so wget if it is not available then we need to install it otherwise we no need to install so i hope it is there let me check So wget is already installed there so we don't need to install if it is not there so then you guys can use this yum install hyphen y install wget or else is not record okay guys so this is the one we need to install okay so here i am using code deploy ap south that this this is basically is a bucket code deploy bucket so let me show you that format all so all the bucket it will be available here if you go here in AWS, okay guys, so let's go to here. So here all this bucket, right, each and every bucket, it is there. If you would like to do that Virginia region, right, so then you have to specify this bucket name there. So what could be the command here? 
So this is the bucket name we have to replace here and then region identifier that which region you are going to use like uh, this is the region if you go US East one okay and then you have to give so otherwise you can take the default that uh, AP our uh, like uh, Mumbai okay so this is our uh, like AOP Check that. so here is the like, AP South right and this is like a uh, Mumbai region AP South and we are using AP South right so like this we can do so let's install this so this download is done and what could be the install let us change the permission okay see let's go to here and then install okay now this whole deploy agent is installation is going on okay it is done so now let us check the status Now if you see it is a duplicated duplicated and code deploy if you last and see this code deploy agent is running right and this is the process ID even you can check that yes minus EF now you can see here code deploy which process ID everything you can see here 31412 so you can check that 31412 this is the process ID and this is the code deploy agent was running. So now we can deploy our uh, like uh, by using AWS pipeline or uh, by if you would like to deploy your changes you can do that by using this kind of setup agent. Okay guys I hope this session will help you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys then I will request you guys please subscribe my channel share surround me with your friend that will really inspire to me and that will really helpful to me. Okay guys see you in my next video. Chalo bye.